So in a previous video, we explored the complexities of the rules surrounding the new tax-free first home savings account. Things like first time home buyer definition, principal place of residence definition, and qualifying home can be confusing. So it may take some extra reading or research to understand. Now, in the second part of the series, let's dive into the rules regarding withdrawals from the FHSA or first time home savings account to find out how it works when purchasing your first home. To make a tax-free qualifying withdrawal from your FHSA, the holder or the account holder must complete a particular form called request to make a qualifying withdrawal and submit that to the FHSA issuer. So that just means submit it to the bank, the investment company, or whoever is holding or managing your investments. It's important to note that responsibility for making sure that you've satisfied the conditions for withdrawal lies with the holder of the account, not with the issuer. So the Canada Revenue Agency, or the CRA, emphasizes that any of the conditions for a qualifying withdrawal are not met, then the withdrawal will be considered taxable and you must report it on your tax return in the following year. So what are the conditions for a qualifying withdrawal? Well, first, the account holder must be a Canadian resident at the time of their first qualifying withdrawal and continue to be a resident until they acquire the home that they're purchasing or building. The definition of a first time home buyer differs when it comes to qualifying withdrawals. In this context, a first time home buyer is someone who has not owned or co-owned their principal place of residence in the current year or any of the previous four years. However, there's an exception to that that allows the account holder to own or co-own their home for up to 30 days before making their qualifying withdrawal, which means you could take possession and then make the withdrawal slightly later. It's important to note that whether the account holder lives in a home owned or co-owned by your spouse or common law partner is not a determining factor for your status as a first time home buyer. Furthermore, the FHSC holder must have a written agreement to buy or to build a qualifying home and the construction or completion date must be before October 1st of the year following the first withdrawal. So the definition of a qualifying home aligns with the same eligibility rules we discussed in part one, as far as the type of houses. Additionally, the account holder must occupy or intend to occupy the qualifying home as your principal place of residence within one year after buying or building it. The CRA confirms that there's no specific minimum time requirement for you to live in the home to qualify for the withdrawal. So if you moved in and then happened to sell later or happened to rent it out later, that wouldn't affect your eligibility. So what if the account holder, what if you failed to acquire a home by October 1st for whatever reason? Then the CRA will evaluate the circumstances individually to determine if you still meet the conditions for withdrawal. So in this case, your intent plays a big role and unforeseen circumstances such as a developer changing their closing date or things getting delayed should not penalize you as an account holder if your intent was to, to acquire the home before the deadline. It's important to note that there's no requirement that the money that you withdraw from the FHSA as a qualifying withdrawal is used to purchase a home directly. As long as you meet all the conditions, there's no tracking or restriction on how you actually use the funds. To summarize, the account rules, this account enables first time home buyers to save for a down payment on a tax free basis. Contributions are tax deductible, just like an RSP, while withdrawals for purchasing a qualifying home are very similar to a TFSA because the withdrawals are tax free. Contribution room begins to accumulate only once you open the account with an annual limit of $8,000 and a lifetime limit of $40,000. Unused room can be carried forward into future years, up to $8,000. A tax-free withdrawal from the FHSA can be used to purchase a home. Any remaining savings in the account can be transferred tax-free into an RSP or a RIF until December 31st of the following year. Non-qualifying withdrawals are considered taxable income for the account holder in the year you take it out. Both the FHSA and the home buyer plan can be used to purchase the same home, providing first time home buyers with multiple options to achieve their dream of home ownership.
So if you have an RSP already and you're considering opening an FHSA, you can use both at the same time. If you want to learn more about how the First Time Home Savings Account can help you achieve your dreams of homeownership, contact us today. Thanks.